this tool is a, it's a bead buster, bead breaker, and I wanted to kind of give you a little uh, rundown on this tire and wheel package. So this is the tool here, and uh, it's adjustable for rim width. And this tool is based around uh, stock tire and wheel. It'll bust a bead on any tire and wheel package all the way down to an ATB, which is this little small foot right here. Um, so what, I, what we figured out is that because of the shape of a drag racing tire and wheel, there's a lot more bulge past the rim. So based on these numbers here, if you go a little smaller than the actual rim width, for instance, this is a 15 inch rim and I'm going to put this in the 14 inch hole and it's a little easier to start uh, because obviously a, a stock tire wheel package like off of your car or truck doesn't have near the bulge in the sidewall. So it's much easier to get under the lip of that rim and push this down. So the way this works is um, this little uh, foot here is going to hook on the opposite side of the rim. These feet here are going to hook 180 degrees across. And then when, when you pull it in and hook it, you pull it like this and that clamps it in underneath the uh, rim. Now this is going to stay straight across, but I'm going to show you that once it's hooked and then you pull on this handle, you're going to be pushing on the bottom side of the rim and then in, it's going to, in return it's going to drive these little pads downward. So this hooks it, this handle locks it into place, and then you push this down and that will drive that bead down. So you're going to go uh, around a couple of steps here. Once you get about a quarter of the way around the uh, rim, you can push it down with your foot. So this is how it goes. Um, so you can see here, I've got it, like I said, a little bit short, but it's, it's real close because um, normally it would be like this, but it's hard to get under there. So we're going to do it at a little angle. And then uh, you just kind of put your foot on here and get that down underneath there and then see how it popped underneath that rim. So now I'm locked in there, okay? And because of the leverage, how you use this is you put your foot here so you don't tip the tire and wheel over. But now that I've got this locked in there, I put a little pressure on this handle. And then I'm going to push this one down. And then you can see how it's pushing that bead down away from that rim. This is an old piece of crap tire we've had laying around, so it's been on this rim forever. But see, that was just one push and see, that's already done. So if it was a, a liner tire with a liner inside, you'd have to go around again. So you'd move it about four or five inches around there, take another bite.